Warm Springs tribal councilors passed a referendum 4 to 2, and now members of the tribe will vote whether to allow a marijuana dispensary on the reservation. And um, in doing so, also legalize the possession and use um, because it would have the store on, on the reservation. CEO of Warm Springs Economic Development, Jim Sowers, says in 2015, Tribal Council passed a referendum to produce and process on the reservation and sell off reservation to dispensaries in Oregon. Now they're ready to sell their product at home. We would also like to be able to sell the product through our own store on the reservation, and that provides us a more vertically integrated business makes the business more profitable, therefore we can give more dividends to the tribe, creates more employment for the community. The community approved the production measure in 2015 by the largest margin in recent memory. The hope is the new referendum will pass with the same enthusiasm. I see it works on the outside and it's not really hurting anything, so I don't think it'll be any different here. Majority of people want it, I just hope it works out well. Though some are curious where the money from the dispensaries will go. I haven't heard any plans on what they actually plan on doing with the money they make from it. Um, I know we voted about eight, over eight years ago on it, but I haven't heard any definitive plans on what they're actually going to do with the funds. Sowers says profits will go back into the tribe as a dividend. We're employing tribal members, so there's jobs related to that. And then in the world of retail, Again, it's a new thing that there's taxes. So we can choose how we want to manage taxes, either similar to the state, and therefore those taxes can be, again, attributed to the government. Steelhaugen, Central Oregon Daily News.